Hi children, welcome back to English class. In our previous class, we revised the unit one reading C, the new new class. And today we are going to revise a new unit called Unit Two, reading A, CV grammar, the time of India. Okay, let us know. Let us revise about CV grammar and his lesson. And uh, you know that his full name uh, is uh, Chandrasekhar Venkatraman. He was uh, the great scientist of India and the first Indian scientist who received the Nobel Prize. Okay, and he was born on here I have mentioned November seventh, eighteen eighty-eight, and he was died on November twenty-first, nineteen seventy. This is seventy seven zero. Born on November seventh, eighteen eighty-eight, and same month, different day, twenty-first. Of course, year also, 1970. He died on 1970, and uh, uh, he, he, you, you have a little bit about his uh, parents. So, like his father was a physical teacher, and he had a great interest in science subject uh, right from his uh, childhood. I mean, right from his uh, like uh, school days. Okay, uh, so his fascination uh, towards uh, uh, science uh, increased as he grew up. Sorry, as he grew up. Okay, and then uh, actually, um, then uh, first at the age of nineteen, he became the member of the Indian Association of Culture and uh, Science. Okay, and even though he worked in the government uh, office, but his uh, sub his interest towards subject science uh, never decreased. When When he heard that uh, Mr. Compton, scientist Compton, has uh, um, bought, who had bought uh, the Nobel Prize, that he increased on uh, uh, something like uh, X-rays. I think regarding that uh, finding out that X-rays, uh, he, uh, I, I just remind you here, it is in your textbook. Uh, uh, he heard that uh, Ramal was delighted because. Um, Compton, Professor Compton had won the Nobel Prize. Uh, his uh, his effect was uh, Compton effect is true on X-rays. X-rays. Okay. So he started working on his uh, uh, new radiation that uh, research work. Even though he was working as a uh, member of the Indian Association of Calculation. Actually, after soon after his matriculation, Penn Standard completion of Penn Standard, he was good at studies, brilliant student. So his parents were very eager to send him to abroad for his uh, studies, uh, but a British man uh, who advised him, an uh, officer, British officer, uh, he advised him that his health condition doesn't, I mean, did not, uh, did not suit for him to send there. His health condition uh, did not uh, like uh, so acceptable to send him to India to British. So they stopped sending him. Then he joined here, but he didn't stop his work. Okay, so he, he his many achievements, many works regarding in his discovery and research works uh, made the British Empire give him. Uh, I mean, made him knight of the British Empire in 1929. Okay, uh, he had a laboratory in the way you get only some like very. Uh, Uh, what do you say? Uh, very suffocated, not suffocated. Uh, uh, the, the word they used, uh, uh, sophisticated. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Sophisticated equipment means very not so advanced. He did not have advanced equipment uh, in his laboratory to continue his research work. Yet he did not stop. Only with the rupees two hundred. I mean, with the worth of two hundred rupees equipment, he. Uh, in the end, he, I mean, uh, in the year 1930, I mean, he uh, like uh, in March somewhere like that uh, year, I, I think they did not mention. Yeah, March 16th, 1928, uh, he discovered new radiation that is called Raman effect. So for this uh, is uh, for this achievement, uh, he got Nobel Prize in the year 1930 for Raman effect. So he found that. I mean, he discovered the Raman effect on Feb 28th. So that day remained uh, like very memorable day. So we celebrate that day as a science, Indian science. I mean, National Science Day. Okay, to remember his achievements. Okay, we are, every year on Feb 28th we are 
celebrating National Science Day. Yeah, fine, and that's all about him and he was also elected to the Royal Society in 1924. A little bit more about him if you want to know then uh, here you find that uh, uh, in, in his lab he had only sophisticated equipments with that itself. See, no sophisticated, I mean uh, there were no sophisticated means, there were not like any advanced equipments, okay. He didn't have any advanced equipments in his laboratory and yet he worked hard and, uh, we, and discovered the Ramana effect. And uh, he was born in Tiruchirapalli, I forgot to say, in uh, Tiruchirapalli in Tamil Nadu in, uh, on November 7th, uh, 1888. Uh, his father was a physical teacher in a college. He was a brilliant student right from the start. When Raman passed his matriculation, his parents were keen to send him abroad for higher studies, but on medical grounds, a British surgeon advised them against it. He asked them, no, no, don't send him. His uh, health condition is not so good, him to send abroad. So he stopped and he continued his uh, studies, the MA degree, okay, in uh, India itself. And then he worked there and then he, uh, uh, Raman effect he discovered on Feb 28th and uh, he got Nobel Prize on uh, 19, uh, in 1930 and even British government made him the knight. It's a honorable award uh, at, uh, in, in the year 1929. They made him knight of the British Empire and also lectured for the Royal Society in the year 1924. Now let us know more about uh, when you go on reading one after one, uh, we understand more about uh, C.V. Raman. That's all about this revision part, right? Just I like summarized the whole lesson. And um, here are some of the glossary, some words that lost in part means giving all your attention to something uh, so that uh, you do not notice what is happening around you. Transparent, allowing you to see through it. Sophisticated, advanced, and capable. Sophisticated means. Uh, advanced and capable. So in his laboratory he did not have sophisticated equipments, means advanced equipments. Yet he discovered through his hard work. Okay? Uh, and he always advised the young scientist that uh, uh, look at the world around and not to confine in his only laboratories. Don't worry about the laboratory and equipments of the laboratory. Look around the world and the essence of science uh, is independent thinking and hard work, not equipment. See, I didn't, he didn't have any advanced, sophisticated or advanced or capable equipments in his uh, lab. Yet he discovered, he became a great scientist of India and the first scientist of India who received uh, the Nobel Prize. And he also advised the youngsters that uh, don't confine, means don't restrict yourself always in the laboratory to achieve something, to discover something. You should look around the world. The essence of science is independent thinking and hard work, not equipment. Okay, fine. Now, here are the some glossary. Uh, let's revise these glossaries. Yeah, fine, children. Now, uh, equipment. Uh, sophisticated, advanced and capable, equipment, the things that are needed for the particular activity, modification, change, uh, uh, discovery, the process of finding something that was known about before, red letter day, an important day, surgeon, a doctor who is trained to perform surgery abroad, foreign country, flag, means here decline, become less. Uh, a strange instrument means any musical instrument with strings. Harmonious, very pleasant. Knight, a man of high social rank. This is the title they have given. Knight, knight of the British Empire. Means a man of high social rank. Confine means to restrict yourself in some room. Okay, fine. And then, uh, uh, see here, we put also something he achieved. About that, uh, I want to you to go through once about uh, a few years. No, could light also change in the nature? Something radiation. Somewhere now, uh, when you go through it, you understand about this one. Raman effect and also about the musical instruments. Also, he said something about is he discovered something about the songs. Okay. 
and uh, that's all about this lesson okay now uh, i want you uh, uh, take some words uh, instead of uh, actually my son uh, i saw some adjectives and verbs uh, adjectives and verbs so that uh, you could change them into noun form now you have that one uh, in your uh, see here page number 27 once you go through this one page number 27 please go through this one enjoy enjoy is a verb change into noun form that is enjoyment surprise surprise itself surprised surprise disappoint okay worried worry satisfied satisfaction in this way they have given now some of the words i'm going to give you and what you have to do is change these words into noun form that's the exercise the revision part we are going to do now and in our next video we are going to revise the grammar topic of unit 2 reading a okay now what are these words now let me write on the board these words and uh, what you you have to change them into noun forms some of the words are going to pick from your uh, lesson itself and some of the words from out of the lesson i'm going to give you and each student are going to pass and what you have to do you have to change into noun form let us know what are these verbs okay yeah now let's go with how to change verbs into noun forms here i have picked uh, some of the verbs from your lesson uh, cd on unit 2 reading a and uh, now you need to change now first word i have picked uh, associate associate now change into noun form associate associate in yes, this work associate yeah in yes, this work c i a t e now change into work form now let me give you one example the noun form work form like declare uh, uh, the principal declaring holiday now declaration is the noun form declaration now you should add some suffix to change the verbs and adjectives into noun form you need to add sorry add suffix like t i o n uh, f u l sometimes m e n t sometimes the a b l e sometimes to change the verbs into either adjective forms or noun forms now let's change the first one now i think we have given the correct answer association okay associate association now 10 i have picked from your textbook tell my home i'm going to ask you now the second one cultivate cultivate yeah cultivate the third one now let me write at least five first excellent transparent excellent e-x-c-e-l-n-e-n-t -E -E excellent transparent transparent sorry transparent this is an adjective you know, this is not more so let me take off this no need this is also an adjective so shall let me write verbs and adjectives changing verbs and adjectives then make no no problem either verb or adjective excellent answer we say no like that okay then transparent Either verbs and adjectives, and you need to change them into noun form. And sophisticated, this is also sophist, sophisticated, sophisticated. Yeah, now let's go with one, two, three, four, five, and uh, three more. And let me write three more sophisticated, impress, celebrate, impress. Celebrate C E L E B. This should be in your book now. Now, association. Now we have changed. Cultivate. Cultivation. Yeah, now, who is going to give the excellent? X E X C E L E E N C E. Excellence is the noun form of excellent adjective. Transformation. 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 Transformation and then uh, sophistication. Sophistication. 
creation. Now you don't get every time uh, I D I O N. Okay, sometimes it may impress. Now impress you 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 can't add just D I O N to change into noun form. So impression. I M P R D S S I O N. Impression. I O N is the suffix of this word to change into noun form. Impression. And then uh, celebration. If this you know celebrate. Celebration. Celebrate. Celebration is the answer. This you know very well. And now let's go with the some more. As I said that I have picked your my own, not from your textbook. Now let's go with this here. Verb or adjective, and you should change into noun form. Noun forms. Okay. Now then the first word. Uh, here ten. Have you finished? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I have given. Yeah. Now let's go with some more. I have picked actually, not seven. Okay. Achieve. Achieve. Discover. Modify. Achieve. A C H I E V. Achieve. Modify. Modify is a verb. Discover is also a verb. Yeah. Now who is going to say for achieve noun form? Achieve noun form. Achievement is the correct. Yeah, fine. Achievement is the correct answer. A C H I E V E L E N T. Achievement. Modify. Who is going to give modify noun form? Modification. Modification is the answer. Okay. Now it should be in your C W. I'm going to ask you now. I'm going to open the webcam to check your book. Discovery. Discover. Discovery. Discovery. I think so. Then you should know this one. I'm, I'm doubt of this doubt. Discovery is verb. It's an adjective form. I think. Discovery. I find out this one. I'm I'm doubt this this number. Okay, now let's go with the the, the own. I said the own. Uh -huh. Like I have taken someone. Accept. Accept. A C C E D T. Accept. Who is going to say accept? And then some more. I'm going to write. Accept. Act. Able. Act. Able. Amazed. A M E Z E D. Amazed. Act. Able. Avoid. 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 Now accept. Accept. Acceptance. 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 Okay. Then the second one. Act. Act. Who is going to answer? Noun form of act. Acting or act, action, action you could say or activity even. Activity is also noun. Action is also noun. Act is for active is for the verb. Now able, able. I'm able to see able. Yeah, able noun form ability, ability. A B I L I E Y ability. Then amazed, amazed meant any and meant is a suffix form to change into noun form. Amazed meant, amazed meant. Okay, amazed meant. Avoid, avoid. What is the noun form of avoid? Avoid. Okay, I'm going to give you avoidance. Avoidance. A B O. I D A N C E avoidance avoidance. Now see once uh, I'm going to turn the camera down. Now uh, now uh, it's uh, you are able to see I think. These are all should be in your notebook. Sometimes uh, it, it, because you need to revise every time. Not only this year exam is said to, uh, but it is helpful to you in future classes also, upcoming classes. I mean next year. Even. Yeah. Now let's go with 
The next word, only five, I have given some five more. Uh, let me take here. Let me, I am going to take here. I am going to erase only these two. Okay? Uh, this space is enough. Uh, believe, confuse. Believe. B E L I E L I E B E B E. Now these are all how it improves your vocabulary. While speaking, you should use sometimes long forms and sometimes adjectives and sometimes uh, go. Okay, these helps improves. This is called vocabulary building and also improves your English language skills and spoken skills especially. Okay, believe, believe. Uh, Why you know you should be able to form sentence of these words now. I don't believe you. I don't believe in you. Here it is like verb. I mean it's uh, like uh, functioning as verb. Now belief, uh, it's a belief. Like uh, if you see a video morning, like superstition belief. Belief every day morning. When you get up early in the morning, you shouldn't see cats face. Like if all uh, uh, bad things are going to happen in your life on that day. Uh, that is a belief. It's a name given to that activity. Belief. Got it? Now you should be able to use them in your own sentence. Now confuse. That's why it's better you start framing sentence. Confuse. Confusion. Confusion. I'm going to give you homework on this part. Okay, I'm going to give homework on this part. Now I give some uh, some of the words and you need to change them into noun form. Okay, confuse, confusion, create. Who is going to say create? What is the noun form of create? Creation. Creation is a kind of noun form. And the next one, uh, uh, consider, design. Consider. 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 What is the noun form? Who is going to give this noun form? Consider. Consideration. Consideration. Consideration is the correct answer. Consideration. Okay. The last one of today's class that is changing the verbs and adjectives into noun forms. Uh, in the end, all these, but from here, all these are verbs itself. Accept, act, able, amaze, avoid, uh, believe, confuse, create, consider, decide. Decide. What is the noun form of decide? Decision. D E C I S I O N. Decision. Is the correct noun form. Yeah, children, that's all for this class. That is unit 2. If you go on up after this class, now let's do the reading part. And you know, next to video, we are going to revise uh, uh, the grammar part. Once you check page number, yeah, yeah, here is full of this only. Now, aggregation form one class, and uh, uh, then like articles. Articles on the prepositions in, on, at. In, on, at preposition part and articles. I'm going to take the grammar with you. And then once uh, uh, I, I have one conjunctions with you, kinds of conjunctions also you need to refer. Uh, and articles. Uh, yep, fine children, that's all for today's class. Uh, bye for now.